by now, you've heard of our Stock the Pantry program. We've teamed up with Feeding the Gulf Coast and 30 other sponsors to help provide school-aged children food during the summer. Many parents depend on the school's free breakfast and lunch program during the school year, but not everyone has access to food during the summer break. Many students are food insecure, so the next time you're out and about at a grocery store, you can pick up a couple of extra cans or boxes of snacks or meals and uh, some Lunchables. Maybe drop them off to any of our 31 sponsor locations uh, across Baldwin County. You'll see those big orange barrels. One of those locations is Greer's Cash Saver on Cottage Hill Road in Mobile. And that's where we find WKRG News 5's Chad Petrie live right now. Good afternoon, Chad. Good afternoon, Bill. And it's one of the things that you're, you're talking about there. It's getting food to kids that need it. About a quarter of the kids in our area are food insecure. To talk a little bit more about Stock the Pantry, I'm joined by Lucy Greer. And you know, Lucy, this is a great program. Talk to me about the need that it's trying to meet. The need with summer coming up is that kids will not be able to get those meals, breakfast and lunch and snacks from the schools. So we thought that it was a perfect opportunity to bring awareness and with all of our stores in the same areas that Feeding the Gulf Coast services, Alabama, Mississippi and Florida, we could be a help with being a place where people could drop off those goods for the kids. One of the things you want to look for are those bright orange barrels like mm -hmm. the one that's behind us. Now there's plenty of room in there for people to donate. And and also, you know, a lot of room, a lot of opportunity for people to participate in this program. But we've got pallets of stuff behind you. What makes an ideal sort of item for this drive? Anything non-perishable for sure. So we don't want anything that is going to spoil quickly because Feeding the Gulf Coast is gathering up everything and it's going to be distributing. And we're going to be collecting until May 1st. So you still have a couple weeks. Um, so anything, um, like I said, non-perishable. We see snacks in there, peanut butters, um, jellies, anything. Um, a lot of parents work, of course. So those older kids, things that they can pop in the microwave, whether it be mac and cheese mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, the favorite at our house, mini raviolis. Um, anything that's not going to go bad. Right, and something we want to focus on for the next few weeks as we gather as many items as we can to really help fill a need for kids that are going to need meals during the summer months as well. Reporting live at Greer's Cash Saver, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.